what are the five best tools for performance management? In this video, I want to look at some of the best tools you can use to manage the performance of your business and the people uh, within it. I help companies improve their business performance management processes and I see that lots of performance management processes are not working very well. So I thought I'd do a video of what I feel are the five that organizations should be using that will make a real, a real difference for your company. For me, it has to start with a goal framework where you basically lay out what's the vision of the business, where do you want to go, and then a small number of strategic goals that you, in an ideal world, put on one piece of paper that then outlines, here are the five, 10, 15 things we really need to sort out as a business in order to be successful. What this will do is that this is then becoming a really powerful communication tool that everyone in the business can understand uh, what the goals are, where the, the organization is going, and then they can align with this. Once you've done this, the second step is then that you need to define objectives. And for me, this has to be a regular process where you start at the top of the organization and you say, okay, in order to help us um, achieve our goals, we need to set some objectives. And these objectives need to be clearly defined and then cascaded into the organization. Not necessarily cascaded right from top to the bottom. Sometimes it's better to actually have this as a more natural process where everyone in the organization almost simultaneously defines their objectives, but making sure that they align with the goal framework. The third thing is that we need metrics or KPIs. So we need to measure the results. K measures basically help you to also identify what you mean by some of your, your objectives. They help you define them, what success will look like. Um, so everyone needs to have metrics, but again, what I see in practice is that lots of metrics are not particularly well designed, where organizations simply measure everything that is easy to count rather than what really matters. So I use a tool called Key Performance Questions, where we go back and say, actually, what is the question you want to have an answer to before you develop indicators? And then you try to define indicators that really help you track your objectives and your goals. The fourth part of a good performance management framework in organizations is to have regular performance discussions. In practice, what I see is that this process is usually very broken, that organizations have these annual performance review meetings where individuals sit with their line managers to go through a script, or you have these uh, personal development reviews. For me, what has to happen is that these meetings have to be done more frequently. So it should really be a, a weekly or monthly check-in where you have discussions where, again, hopefully the goal framework comes out where you look at your own objectives and you refine them and you set ambitious uh, goals for the future. And this discussion has to be two-way, where you say, okay, this is what I would like to achieve, this is what the company would like to achieve, how do we now align them, how can the manager and the team support you in achieving some of these goals, so these really meaningful, regular discussions about performance. And the fifth part is that we have a good reward and recognition system in place. What I don't mean by this is that we simply align or hardwire some of the indicators that we've designed with a reward system saying, okay, if you achieve our revenue target, you will get a bonus. This for me doesn't work in practice. And what I mean by reward and recognition systems is that you actually have a process where you showcase good performance, where you thank people for their good performance, where you have those regular discussions. You actually say, this is great, let's celebrate success. Between individuals where you have those discussions, but also as a business, you celebrate success. And this is for me one of the most powerful ways of rewarding people. And actually the financial reward should come automatically. You should get paid well for the job you do, but not, not necessarily for hitting all the KPIs. 
So these are the five things. So when I, I help businesses uh, improve their performance management processes, we look at those usually in that order that we start with the goal framework, then set the objectives, then the metrics, then the performance review processes in the organization and finally making sure that there's a good way of rewarding uh, performance and celebrating success. If you want to know any more about any of this, I have a lot of other videos that are relevant to all of this and I have lots of articles on my website on all of those topics so you can dive in and learn a lot more.